Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. Today I have a project share uh, for Scrap Diva Designs. Let me move this cord out of the way. For Scrap Diva Designs and um, Erica had invited me to be a guest designer for the month of December and I agreed to it so she sent me a beautiful design package and I have shared that already but among those uh, dies that she had sent me was one that we associate more with fall or spring which is the sunflower bag topper I personally love sunflowers and her sun I think this was the October release where she had all the different sunflowers, whether it was a mini album, there was bag toppers, there was just all kinds of sunflowers, and they were gorgeous. Anyway, she sent me the sunflower bag topper, and it does come in, in several sizes. I have the, the small sunflower bag topper. I only use the sunflower. And I also played with... Um, the candy bar, the chocolate gift box, the 3D chocolate gift box. And um, I didn't put candy in mine, but I'll share it with you anyway. I did buy a candy bar, but I did. that's not what I put in it. Um, but what I was saying about the sunflower, when I did my unboxing, uh, and I, I said that it was a little late for me to create uh, with the sunflower because, you know, we were in December and we're normally creating holly and poinsettias and all of that stuff. Well... I was one of my friends, uh, Jackie Jacqueline, who is Metal Arc 001 here on YouTube. She loves Scrap Diva dies. So she uh, texted me and said, you know, you could make a Christmas one. I've never seen anybody do that. And I thought, eh, I don't know about that. You know, that was my thought. Wasn't sure. But this morning I said, you know what? Let me give it a go. Let me see what comes out. So I did give it a try, and my friend was absolutely right. I will share with you, and what I'm calling it is the Florida poinsettia. Because <laughs> it never gets cold here. <laughs> um, so um, I'm calling it the Florida poinsettia because it never gets cold here. And normally you find them up until probably October. You can find them, not really in December. But it was fun. When we create, it's fantasy, guys. It's our imagination. So just keep that in mind when you see what I created because that's what it is. It's our creativity. It's our imagination. And we're only limited to our imagination. Y'all hear my puppy? We got a new puppy. And they're just like babies. So let me share my project with you guys. I created a um, the candy bar box, but I didn't put it together the way it's supposed to be put together, the way everybody else is putting it together. Uh, I did something a little bit different with it, and I'll share it with you guys. This is the top portion of it, and um, look at that beautiful Florida poinsettia. Is that gorgeous or what? I used two different... Hold on one second, you guys. <laughs> Let's mute the puppy down some. I used a combination of uh, some matte red cardstock in a, in a in a deep red, and then I used a uh, foil, but it was a matte foil cardstock, and I cut two of the larger ones, and one in the matte red and one in the matte foil red, and then the smaller one you can add as many layers as you want, but in the smaller one I only did one, and that was the matte foil. Uh, for the center, I cut it out, the outer ring in a glitter lime color, and it does pop out that center, and I decided to put it underneath this gold piece, and I love the way it looks, and I had some holly, uh, some holly branches in my stash, and I just cut them out in green, and, and this particular die has the, you know, the veining separate, so I did that in glitter, but I got one of those Dollar Tree and I didn't even glue them in guys I just kind of tucked them in just to give you guys an idea uh, but I did cut up one of those acrylic uh, iridescent um, snowflakes from the Dollar Tree 
and I just kind of tuck them here and there, you know, kind of making them uh, like a circle, but not completely because the poinsettia, if I had left the snowflake intact without cutting it, you would be able to see only very little of the snowflake and I wanted to expose more of it. So I cut it up that way I could, you know, put it wherever I wanted. But look at how gorgeous that is, you guys. So for this particular one, I used the sunflower bag topper. It doesn't matter what size you have. The only difference will be in the size, but that's what I did. Matte foil, um, matte red, regular, uh, lime or a citrus green glitter, and then the, the gold foil for the center. And I think it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I did cut out the window. Now, what I will tell you about the the gift box, the candy bar gift box, it cuts very well. So you have to use heavyweight cardstock because if you use something that's not very not very thick, it's going to tear right through it the score lines. That's what happened to me. So that only tells me that this die cuts very very well and this is one of those dies that you can use heavy material to cut. So um, I had to patch mine up a little bit like I had to add a strip here because my paper ripped right there at the score mark because it wasn't uh, thick enough. And I thought it was pretty thick, but maybe it wasn't. Uh, so you do need to use like a hundred, about a hundred and ten pound cardstock for that particular die. Or I had a lot of shims in my, um, between my plates. So eliminate some of those shims because the score, it, it is going to cut through it or break it there. Anyway, guys, that is what I created. And uh, I did do the window and there's a pink piece. And then there, I did the overall box in red. And then this was a pink one that I was, the first one I made was a pink one with very heavyweight paper and it was working out great. But my idea didn't work. So I had to cut it apart and I added it here because the, the Christmas paper that I'm using does have the reds in two shades and it's got pink and white so and green. So I was able to use it here as well, layer it up. And then the little trim, the little lacy edge trim, I just did it in a green. Uh, but it would look beautiful in a gold. It would look beautiful in a foil green. In any type of those specialty papers probably will look prettier, but it still looks pretty. So... I am working on some Happy Mail. I'm always working on Happy Mail. I have some that I really need to send out before the holidays. But I bought these and I'm working on pink. On pink Happy Mail. That's what I'm working on. And I had bought these silicone. Uh, I'm not sure what these are for. They, these are in the makeup section. But I think they're great for spreading glue. Especially when we're doing decoupaging or anything like that. And it, it doesn't stick to it because it has the, the silicone uh, edges to it. So I bought two, picked up two, and look at how perfectly they fit in here. Now, if I didn't want them to move around, I could have cut a rectangle piece and punctured two little holes across the skinny part and wired it down or tied it down or whatever, and it wouldn't move. But for this particular thing, it, it doesn't matter because it, there's not too much room for them to move around but I created this one to look like a tray so let's say you're doing those fun size uh, candy bars those will fit great in here I don't know how many you could get in here because I don't have any and since I was diagnosed with uh, diabetes I don't eat candy anymore very seldom I have to really want a piece and that I can't once I'm down to my last nerve that I have to have a piece I will have it but I try not to so I don't buy it uh, so I won't be tempted but it, I think those little fun size ones you could probably probably fit four or five in here because it's it's a pretty good size and I do have a candy bar um what did I do with it and it's not real big or anything I think this one is more narrow than normally what a candy bar is this is the dub one and uh, so it's not as wide as, I think the other candy bars are a little bit wider, but they would fit perfectly in here. But of course I would put, see there's plenty of room because this candy bar is smaller. But I would add, uh, put some kind of a sleeve on it to make it look festive. But that's not what I wanted it for. I wanted to put these in here. 
for the for one of my um, you know for my happy meal so what I decided to do was to create this tray that you could slide in and out of your box so in a sense I I didn't add the 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 tab piece that goes here to close the box I omitted that and I cut off the tabs that were on the main box piece and then for these are supposed to go on the top for you to close it I kind of just uh, added them on here uh, like going down and then here is that little um, tab that we glue I glued it underneath and I created a little tray or a little box and this what I like about this it's a little tricky to get in here because the height of this piece is the height of the box but once you get it in there a little bit like get it past the front piece it slides in pretty easily and the beauty of that is that once you get it all the way in it kind of sits in here the window so it's not going to open easily or anything i don't have to add velcro i don't have to add tape but yes and it might be too because i had to uh uh, patch mine up because my paper was tearing maybe it would have been easier to put in there if I hadn't had to add extra layers of paper but all you do is just kind of work it in there and once you get that piece worked in there oops once you get that piece worked in there then you shouldn't you don't have any trouble uh, sliding it in see it wasn't very difficult I already have it in there and all you got to do is slide it all the way in gently gently it'll go and when this pops out at the other end, it kind of drops the window part or the sleeve part drops in between these two. That little ledge where it was a little higher, like the little sides here, I trimmed them to be a little bit lower than the thickness or the gusset of the box. But not these. I left these the way they were. So once you get past that piece and the two tabs are on either side, the, the sleeve drops into this section and this is look guys this is not going anywhere for me to get it out of here I do have to kind of nudge this or wedge this out a little bit like push it in there and then I can pull it out easily but it's not going to come open by itself and I love the way this looks and it's like a little tray like you could add cookies in here and this would look like a cookie tray anyway guys that is all that I have to share with y'all today I will um link everything in the description box below and if you purchase any of these items i will actually add affiliate links which means i will make a small commission if you were to purchase uh, some of these items using those links that i provide also if you use the code c2c10 you get you get 10 percent off at checkout and i will put that code in the description box below in case uh, you guys forget or you didn't understand uh, you know I do have um, what do you call it <sighs> an accent that's what I was trying to remember because I am Hispanic so if you didn't understand me I'm going to put it in the description box below uh, but I love 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 the way this came out I think it looks gorgeous and it looks very festive you know even though it's a sunflower it looks very Christmassy because of the colors that I use and by adding the snowflake pieces and by adding the holly that kind of made the whole thing uh, look even more festive anyway that is all that I have to share with you guys today thank you so much for spending time with me and I hope everyone has a great day and God bless bye